Today I want to share how to hook up the RoboDot Touch with the DJI M3e. Here we have the DJI M3e with its RTK antenna and the RoboDot Touch conveniently packed together for easy portability. Let's set up this equipment in the office before we head out to the field. With everything turned on, the first step is to connect the controller to the RoboDot's Wi-Fi network. Once we're connected, we need to set up the custom network RTK. Enter the IP address that's displayed on the RoboDot's main screen. Enter the port 10,000 and use arbitrary values for account, password, and mount point. Now the unit's set up, you won't have to worry about the settings in the future. Let's go to the field, see how it works. First, take the RoboDot, power it on, set it, and don't move it after that. Then you can access the RoboDot via the controller Open the web browser, type in the IP address that's displayed on the robo.touches screen, and go to the status page. In this case, my unit isn't set up to auto survey, so I'm going to average my position. The robo.touch will display surveyed under fixed type in the web UI and also on screen. Once the robo.touch is surveyed in a position, you can take the drone out turn it on. Once the DJI is powered up and communicating with the controller, you can navigate to the RTK settings and see that it's connected and the position is fixed, which means you're in RTK. And that's how easy it is to get an RTK fix on your DJI M3E.